this lesson is on half planes. Now, in order to demonstrate what a half plane is, we're going to get straight into a question because I think once we represent a half plane graphically and work through a question, it'll be clear, it'll become clear what exactly a half plane is and what it represents. So, let's start working through the question sketch the half plane for y is greater than 1.5x minus 3. Now the first step in a problem like this is we want, we want to graph this line and so to do that we're going to treat this inequality as an equal sign to begin with. So let's write it out as y equals 1.5x minus 3. Uh, the quickest way to graph it is just to find the x and y intercepts. So to find the y intercepts we let x equal 0. So y equals minus 3. To find the x intercepts we let y equals 0. So 0 equals 1.5x minus 3, 1.5x equals 3, so x equals 2. So we've got our two intercepts and we can go ahead and sketch that line which I'll do now. So we've sketched the line y equals 1.5x minus 3. The next step we want, we want to do in representing a half plane is to shade either side, a region either side of this line here. So either this side or this side. And in order to figure out which side we're going to shade, what we'll do is we'll test the coordinates 0, 0. So our origin there. Test the coordinates 0, 0 to see if those coordinates satisfy our inequality. So I'll write out our inequality again. Y is greater than 1.5x minus 3. If we sub in 0, 0, we'll get 0 is greater than 0 minus 3. Or in other words, 0 is greater than minus 3. Now that is true. And what that tells us is that the coordinates 0, 0, the point x equals 0, y equals 0, satisfies this inequality here, which we had in the question. And that means from that we can deduce that any point x coordinate, y coordinate on this side of our line, the same side as the coordinates 0, 0, we know will satisfy this inequality and you could check that if you wanted to. And so what we can do with that is we can actually shade everything on this side of the line and that's what we call a half plane. The solution to a linear inequality with two variables, so x and y, is illustrated using a shaded region called a half plane. So we've illustrated by shading this area here, the half plane, all of the solutions for this inequality here. Now there's one more thing that I need to point out. Our inequality was y is greater than if we had y is greater than or equal to, our, our graph would need to be slightly different. So when we only have greater than or if it was less than, that tells us that the solutions, the coordinates that are actually on the line itself are not satisfied. They do not satisfy the inequality. Anything on this side of the line does satisfy the inequality, but anything 
any points that are actually on this line, so for example this coordinate here, 2, 0, does not satisfy that inequality. And to represent that, we actually make our line dashed. So what I'll do is I'll just rub out along this line here to indicate that the coordinates on that line do not satisfy the inequality. If this sign here was greater than or equal to, or if in another inequality with different numbers it was less than or equal to, this line would stay as it was. It would stay coloured in and completely filled, indicating that the coordinates that are on that line do satisfy the inequality. So that's a big difference that you need to be able to distinguish. Whenever the inequality has an equals, that tells us that the solutions on the line are satisfied, do satisfy the inequality, but when there's not an equal sign, so when we just have greater than, the solutions on that line are not do not satisfy the inequality, and so we draw a dashed line. So that's an introduction to half planes. And the topic does go further, but we'll talk about that more in class. But hopefully that's helpful to get you started.